Hello everyone, hello from Bloomington, Indiana, the United States of America. And I wonder, many of you would say, what the hell is he doing there? Well, I am participating in the Fulbright program, the Distinguished Award in Teaching program. And yeah, this is actually my second day in Bloomington. We spent about five days in Washington DC for an orientation and now we're here, settling in first and then Tomorrow we're gonna have more activities and uh, more uh, orientation and so on. So, uh, let me talk to you first about what is this program about. So, first of all, we're like 19 teachers who are selected from all over the world, like Finland, Singapore, Israel, Taiwan, Morocco, of course, and India. Well, we were all selected based on an inquiry project that we proposed before we uh, 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 were selected. And I'm going to be talking to you about my uh, project later, in uh, the next video, hopefully, or the video after that. Uh, Alright, so what else can I say? Yeah, so after that whole procedure, we got to arrive to the USA. Uh, on the 7th of uh, this month, which is August. Uh, we all met at uh, Madison Hotel in Washington. It was like really close to the White House. And yeah, we started our workshops. Uh, this, the orientation that we attended was mainly about, you know, I have a couple of notes in here so that I don't, I don't, I don't forget what I should talk about it. And then, as I mentioned before, so on the my south uh, west corner is General Lafayette, um, the French general who would go and support the United States during the Revolutionary War, among three other European generals who um, assisted the UN. To start with, the orientation that we attended was like really, really very informative. We uh, learned a lot of things about the project that we're going to work on, and so many other things like uh, the US culture and so on. Uh, on our first uh, day, we had a welcome dinner, which was really great. We got to know the other teachers who were participating, and also other U.S. Uh, teachers who are going to uh, be doing the same, uh, they're going to participate in the same program, but in uh, outside of the USA. Uh, yeah, so we got to meet a lot of people, and I got to memorize a lot of names, and I'm still doing so inauguration where the president will march down and there will be um, his uh, he actually walked along Pennsylvania Avenue yeah so that's Washington I think all right guys were you in that bus not in that bus that a big, that's, this is a bigger one. No, this one, this one. Yeah, okay. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Remember what's your name? Yeah. Yasin. Yasin. How, how about you? Corey. 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 Yeah, Cor nice to well, you call me C, like C. Everybody C. Everybody call me, what's up, C? C. Exactly. Beautiful. It's like that. You're welcome to Morocco, man. Anytime. You're walking so tomorrow, you're going to do the walk? Yeah, I'm going to do the walk tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, see you tomorrow. I'm sorry, I was like, get yeah, carried out. Make sure we have everyone. Yeah. You're doing a good job, by the way. Uh, thank you. Yeah. The first workshop was about culture. And we did so many activities to know better about the US culture. And yeah, I, had a, I have a couple of uh, uh, notes that I jotted down that were like really interesting to me. First was that I should know my gift, okay? And know what I'm good at and share it with people. Uh, I might benefit many people when I do that. And so uh, what I understood is uh, that it's all, that it's not all about what you get, but also about what you're going to give to the others. 
<laughs> Good morning everybody. So this is our third day and we're going again for an early walk and uh, as you can see we're sitting in Washington. Uh, we've been here for like yeah three days and we haven't seen all what should be seen. There are plenty of museums that are free. And we talked also about many other aspects in culture that we should like uh, 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 pay attention to while we're here. Part of the orientation, we were like advised to keep a journal of what we're doing. And yeah, and the best way to do after you keep the journal is like to, 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 to write something in journal is to share it with everybody so that everybody can benefit. Not like only after the program, but also while I'm here doing it. So that's why I thought of doing videos for my fellow teachers back in Morocco and all over the world and share my experience here in the United States of America. All right, so uh, yeah, after that workshop that we did in uh, about culture, which was like really, really interesting, we uh, did another one about our inquiry project and an overview or guideline about how that project would be and what we uh, like what is ex expected from us uh, 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 through that uh, project that's crazy let's see the font again getting closer no, but you get to look into the top floor. And I'll... So look, these are clean. Where's that? Are they going down? Okay, I'm gonna give you permission. I'm gonna give you permission to go to the Yeah. All right. Um, One team in the afternoon is gonna just gonna go investigate. And then he's gonna go around some groceries. I ask him for some milk. And then he come back. It's yeah. Material. Now that's the it's other one. It's like you are standing still. This human here. It's getting higher and higher. Yeah, I would advise anyone, everyone, to go visit Washington. It's a really nice place. Uh, all right, so. Here is a couple of things that I first noticed one, uh, once I arrived to Washington. The first thing, yeah, the bus experience. Totally different from the bus system that we have in Morocco. The buses actually here have air conditioners and also, I noticed that they can kneel or go down when an, a senior is going in the bus, okay? So, there are not steps, there's only one step, but the bus can, the corner where the, the door is, can uh, like uh, go down for senior citizens or people who cannot like uh, 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 get that big step. Bus driver is very, really helpful, most of them, like uh, the ones that I, 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 I asked, like they were really helpful and very patient to answer my questions and then keep on driving.
class was like really quiet not that crowded i don't know whether it's all the time or just i was lucky <laughs> but i really like that bus experience uh there are like stations after like each like i don't know few meters and then you got a station and station after a station that's something that is good you know when you're here you don't need to like be looking for stations they're like everywhere but you need of course to know where you're going and the number of bus you're taking and you can solve the problem by asking people that's what i did the second thing yeah asking people for direction so i had a really great experience doing that and it was like totally different from uh, other places that i visited Thing. This is my first officer, Antonio, informed us our flying time will be approximately an hour and 20 minutes. In a few moments, please direct your attention for us to go over important information about this Embraer 175. Yeah, what was interesting is that people are super, super helpful here in, in, in the USA. I asked about 15 people once, I, the first day I arrived. Uh, we were looking for adapters for our uh, 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 plugs. Uh, for the European plug, so here in the USA it's different. I think everybody knows that. And the problem is, yeah, I didn't bring one, so I had to buy one, but I don't didn't know where to go. And people were like really, really helpful here in the USA, you know, like, especially in Washington. When you go and ask a, ask a person, they will give you time. They will like check the Google Map or whatever, and they will like, yeah try to help you as much as they can and then I got to ask a police officer a police officer who gave me time and she was like smiling at me and she showed me the way in a very very nice and kind way and I really appreciated that but the, spe the special thing was when I went to triple A uh, between 14th and 15th street so uh, one of the girls I asked told me that you can go there you can find the adapter that you're looking for so I went there I find a senior an African-American man I was sitting there on the desk I told him what I wanted he uh, showed me a couple of adapters I told him that uh, that was not what I was looking for and then he advised me to go to Best Buy but that was not it he showed me every single thing I should know on how to go to that place. So he uh, told me that I needed to get the bus. He showed me where the bus is and everything. And then I needed change. He gave me change and he uh, went out with me and showed me the direction and every single thing. And I was like, that was too much. I mean, where I live, we're hospitable. We help people. But just to be that patient, to show that, to show me, like for him to be so patient to show me everything I need to know to get to that place exactly in details, that was like, yeah, above what I was like expecting. Yeah, and that was like a great experience that I will never forget in my life. And that man was smiling all the time. And he told me that he want to come to Morocco. And I was like, yeah, please come, welcome. I'll host you. The third thing I want to talk about and uh, I noticed a lot in Washington is that it is clean. Bloomington is clean also. But Washington, 
it was like so clean the streets no dust and i can count the number of times i saw garbage in the street it was twice and that's it but other than that the streets are really 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 super clean you can like walk barefoot and that's okay and uh, yeah so i really like that i like the cleanliness of the of the city and I like the fact that there are a lot of things that you can do in Washington. A lot of museums. Uh, unfortunately, I got a chance to visit only one museum, which is the Space Museum. Uh, it was like very, very, very uh, 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 interesting. Uh, other than that, I didn't visit many other museums. And the funny thing is that whenever someone asks me if I visited uh, uh, museums, I am just like, well, the whole city is a museum for me. I mean, this is like my first time here. And I'm enjoying every single bit of it. I mean, just looking at those buildings, that's for me. Like, just, just amazing. But still, I got to go to the White House, the Capitol, and uh, also uh, Lincoln Memorial and Jefferson Memorial and many other interesting places, yeah. Yeah, so in general, people were like too kind and that's what pushed me to like just interact with people, get to know people, tell people where I come from and yeah, share like uh, conversations, like or uh, on the elevator, in the lobby in a hotel, outside the street. So I talk to as many people as I can. And of course, I learned a lot in only five days. So I can't wait to see how much stuff I'm gonna be learning in those four months. And this is something I forgot to tell you. So this program will last for like four months and in this program I'm going to be working on a project attending seminars and attending courses and doing many other interesting things I'm not gonna jump into those things and like experience them and then I'm gonna report back to you I think that's it for today uh, I hope I didn't forget anything but if I forget something uh, you're gonna find it in the next video ciao